Okay, I'm now wanting to explain interpolation and extrapolation. What you can see here is worked example 6. In worked example 6, there is a table, which is here, shows the number of boxes of tissues purchased by hay fever sufferers and the number of days affected by hay fever during the blooming season in spring. This information from this table has been put onto a scatter plot below and a line of best fit has been drawn. If we were asked to make a prediction for 11 days, so for example, um, for 11 days, if the number of days affected by hay fever, how many it was 11, how many boxes of tissues uh, would be purchased, then 11 falls within the range of this graph. So you can go up here and 11 days falls within the lowest point and the highest point. So we call that an example of interpolation. So we could make a prediction reasonably reliably how many boxes of tissues would be purchased. If however they said for 15 days how many boxes of tissues would be purchased, well 15 is here. If we go up, 15 falls above the highest value. This is an example of extrapolation where it should where it falls above the highest or the lowest point. So just recapping, if we're asked to make a prediction of for 11 days how many boxes of tissues, this is interpolation. Interpolation is the term used for predicting a value of a var variable for within the range of the given data. So within the range from the lowest to the highest value, 11 falls within that range, so it's interpolation. We're asked to predict the number of boxes of tissues for 15 days. 15 falls above the highest value, so that's an example of extrapolation. Extrapolation occurs when the value of the variable being predicted is outside the range of the given data. Predictions involving interpolation, so this example here, are considered to be quite reliable. Those involving extrapolation should be treated with caution as they rely on the trend of the line remaining unchanged beyond the range of data.